All right. Well, we don't have, I don't have a name yet. I'm thinking maybe the Sunny Sunny Super Show. Sun, I want to do something SSS Sunny Secret Show, but I'll figure that out later. Uh, welcome yeah. to, the, to the Triple S Show. Uh, <laughs> today we've got on a familiar face. We've got Mr. Joel Graves with us. How are What's you, Joel? Well, I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm I'm well, man. I'm well. I'm I like the super the, excited the, that you're doing this. Thanks, man. Thank you. You know, Joel 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 really. Uh, What's what's the proper term? Joel kind of kicked my ass into gear uh, over this, you know. Um, I think I've been I've been waiting for the right moment to do it, and uh, Joel was like, "Let's just do it now." And uh, here we are. So I'm thankful for you, kind of lighting that fire under my ass. Good, um, good. I so that's a that's a normal thing, and obviously, mm -hmm. you know, from hanging out with you, and anyway. <laughs> Uh, a lot of you guys had kind of the same thing where it's like, oh, I'll wait until it's perfect. And I spent a lot of my life thinking like that too. And then sometimes you just got to realize, well, the, the perfect time is now. A lot of times that hesitations from fear and just like striving for perfection and nothing's perfect, but over progress is always good. So I like I, when I, I saw the show and I'm like, ooh, and then we, I, I had called you. And he's like, oh, uh, well, I got, I got to get this emotion. <laughs> oh man, but, well, but I mean, yeah. that's something I took from the show because before the show, I would have just not done it. I would have just been like, oh, I'm sorry, Joel. I'll, I'll try it next month. But so here we are. That's um, fear, man. I know, I know. I'm working on it though. You know, this is it. This is concrete <laughs> right now. You know, this yeah. is concrete right now. And I do gotta, I gotta show you. I have the camera like this. I don't know if you saw on Instagram. I shaved off half my mustache. I did see it. <laughs> yeah, man. I wasn't sure how bad it was going to look. I got like these fake mustaches too, just in case. Just, but <laughs> I, just, I got the camera angle. So that's why I'm looking like this. But how'd that happen? Dude, to be completely transparent, man, you know, I'm on a budget and I only have one trimmer for my whole body. And, you know, I just forgot what the last setting was, man. And I went for it. Oh, I <laughs> <laughs> it might I thought, have been my you lost a, thought you lost a bet or something no man i just uh, totally on my like 100 my i couldn't even be mad i was just laughing about it i was like dude like come like yeah man it's That's all good man funny. it's all good man but here here's here's my most pressing question for you i just got to start off with why were you hiding your musical ability from the entire cast why do we never find why did we never have a little sing-along around the campfire joel because i all i looked up i looked you up on youtube man and i found the videos of you singing and like playing guitar and i thought i was gonna like i thought like when you when you had mentioned it previously i thought like i don't know i thought you were just like messing around but like dude you're good like you're really good man like you were like you had a little acoustic solo too i don't know if you know what video i'm talking about it's you at like a christmas party and it cuts to you and you just like you start ripping on this acoustic guitar man like oh yeah oh yeah, it was like 10 years ago. It was like 10 yeah, years ago. Like I, I, I'm, I'm going to insert the video here. <laughs> no but you did a great job man i thought it was gonna be like i don't know if someone had a video of me 10 years ago playing drums it'd be like the worst thing in the world but yeah i mean i my my that's like a family party i actually love that um oh this this is actually bringing up a lot of stuff and if, oh, if yeah. there's anything you're not comfortable talking about like just just let me know but um so there's people in that video if i'm thinking of of the right one it's it's a lot of my family we we all lived on the same road back then and a uh, really close-knit family uh, kind of bit like my my grandpa uh came to this country from portugal oh. and you know he worked his butt off he, he i mean he, st he still does he's he's one of the hardest workers i know uh and and eventually got everybody over there but he 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 had his little empire he created, you know, just living the American dream, um, just on that road. And so our, like every Sunday, you know, our family would get, to, it's, it's like stuff you don't really hear about anymore nowadays, but you know, that's where I learned how to like 
respect my elders and and we just we, we spent a lot of time together and um there's i my i had an uncle he was my uncle dave he was he, like a walking jukebox and, and he, he he could like any song he knew all the lyrics mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All the melody lines to it and stuff and then i think in that video who i'm probably playing with is is my cousin eric his name's eric brumley and he still is in the music game um and he's a he, he makes christian music he's, he's okay. extremely talented better than yeah. i i'll ever be but we had like a little little band in in high school and oh stuff. yeah 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 and music, like in some of my most trying times, music has been uh, just a way to get out of my head. And, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it's good for your mental health. I, I never looked at it as a way to, you know, make money or, or get ahead. It was always just something I enjoyed. And mm -hmm. like even uh, that, that same cousin, he's on Bushcraft Build-Off. It's like a show we did on Discovery Channel. And oh, they yeah, don't show yeah. a lot of it because we're like singing songs and stuff. But I mean, we were working our butts off. I actually didn't sleep for like three days. We worked like three days straight. But you know, like my cousin there, my brother, we, we were just like singing while we're working. And, doing what for uh, three days? We were building a shelter. You should check it out. <laughs> I saw I saw like some of your some fans of yours from like talking about that, but I didn't know what it was. You guys spent three days building a shelter. Yeah, and the, I mean that's what really happened and, and mm. i think on the show they kind of make it look like one day okay fine. yeah but you yeah. see me at the end i'm i was out of it but yeah we weren't gonna like go down not swinging you know yeah 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 but it, awesome. it was a lot of work i heard it's still standing have you done any other tv other than like snowflake mountain and that other show you were talking about we we've been on like Matt and myself have have done little things here and there um, with like Disney Plus. I'm not even sure if that ever aired. And then I was actually on a show. Um, what was it called? Breaking Breaking Dad. It's, Breaking it's, Dad. It's, it's <laughs> a popular one in, in England. Those guys were. Yeah. Uh, I think his name's Bradley Bradley Walsh. He's like a legend in in the UK. Okay. And I it, we had a lot of fun out at our place in Maine. But not as much fun as we want. He had broken his back riding a bull right before he came to see me. So that oh, it, no. it changed a lot of what we could do. Yeah. But just great people. Um, and I, I've helped a, on a couple episodes, like behind the scenes on Naked and Afraid. So some of those guys, like there's this dude named Waz. That's uh -huh. this Australian guy. He got me back into like free diving and all that. We only hung out for, you know, a couple of weeks. Before yeah, yeah. He's, started filming and stuff i think he's all over amazon xl right now awesome dude okay uh, but um yeah little little things here and there that's sweet the I, I honestly never want I, like the the tv thing I, not to sound like ungracious it, it never appealed to me that's it mm -hmm. never motivated my decisions like it's fun like the adventure of it's fun but like yeah i Sometimes I'm a little uncomfortable being in the in the limelight. Really? Yeah, it's just not what drives me. But if it's something that that's like serves a greater purpose, or it's 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 good, or it's, it's just an adventure, like maybe I can't do it. That's, that's kind of the reason I said yes to the show. I I could care less about the show. I was like, wow, this could be something really good. Right. And from that moment forward. It, it was like craziness and just rising up to the challenge of it. And then yeah. you guys, and I, it's, it's crazy. Like, I don't know if you know this today, mm -hmm. it, it's on the top 10 global list. on Global. Netflix. Yeah. Oh, geez. I didn't know that. That's great. <laughs> That's insane. That's insane. <laughs> I Global. could have never imagined. And even if it wasn't, like the the impact and the relationships we built out there, it, it was already worth it. But it's like, yeah. oh my goodness, people are that are actually watching the show are getting something from it. And it's it's good to just kind of shine that light. It, and, and you guys are a part of that. And I want you to yeah, keep yeah. being a part of that and, and cognizant of the fact that you got people's attention and there's a lot of people watching you and, and you're 
like even doing this, taking the step to, to put this in action, you're, you're, you're being a role model for somebody just like you that was going like, oh, man, I can't do it. Yeah. Yeah. You can, you can, you can do anything you, you want. Yeah, man. I mean, it's crazy. Like the, I mean, it's been out what, two weeks now. Like I've gotten messages from like people battling cancer, like talking about like the show being an inspiration and like, and I totally see how it's just, it's almost hard. It's like kind of hard to process. Cause like in my head, we were just like isolated for like three weeks. It, it's hard to fathom that people have now like watched it, digested it. And like, it means something to them. Like it's just such a trip. Yeah, it's, it's humbling really for me. I'm like, whoa, this is crazy. But that, you know, that's what I, I had hoped for. Right. You know, like right. I, I remember the trailer came out and there was, there was a lot of hate, but it, I mean, there's always going to be haters. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to be positive, but for sure, for sure. Time, that's, that's kind of like, it's a relationship thing. Uh, what, what I think happens a lot nowadays is we focus so much on how we're different that we can't even see how we're the same. Right. Definitely. If you're going to solve a problem together, you can't do that if you haven't connected first. You know, so 100%, it, it could have yeah. been easy to write any, anybody off on the show, like, oh, he's this, he's that. It's like, mm -hmm, okay, well, mm -hmm. like, th there's actually a lot if I, I sit and, and think about it that we can relate to. Like, and if this is too personal, stop. Oh, me. You, one of the things that resonated with you as far as me being able to relate to you is, is a, a, a trouble planning for the future. Like what mm -hmm. why? it can, can get just taken from you in a, in a moment's notice. I've literally seen that happen. And um, it almost felt like, it, like I was being like super cocky if I planned for the future. And I still have trouble with it. Don't get me wrong. But I, I mean, knowing what you've been through i can totally see it and then it, it's the same thing as what i just talked about like hey it, it's okay to to think like that and it's actually really smart and then one day you know you'll get older and, and you'll be glad that you you kind of got out of that rut and then you, you got that duality where it's like yeah no i i appreciate every day that's what like i'm trying to be in the moment i ain't trying to worry about tomorrow but the, mm -hmm. you, what a balance you know what right I mean? right I, I still struggle with it but Oh, so that, that, that move that where I was playing guitar, that yeah. uncle, my jukebox uncle, uh, he ended up, he passed away in a motorcycle accident, uh, at a very young age. And so my, I have a, a cousin that you're, you're older than him and you guys look nothing alike, but it, it, I, w I saw you as my cousin. Okay. You know what I mean? And yeah, yeah. I could totally understand it and I'll, i'm like man I, so once you started like getting that fire under you out there like, yeah dude <laughs> yeah thanks man thanks man what yeah man Did that's I mess just, you up? no 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 you didn't mess me up man that just that actually like i'm just taking a second that means a lot to me man that really does that really does well well, what what was your first impression of uh of the snowflakes? Like, I, I know watching the show, there were there were some challenges where you were like afterwards, like that wasn't even supposed to be hard. Like, yeah. Um. So what what were like your first genuinely? What were your first impressions? And were you were there any moments where you were like genuinely like shocked that like maybe we couldn't do something or like how much trouble we were having? Uh, the the initial meeting. I I mean, my yeah. initial thought was oh crap like what what did i do what did i come <laughs> but i got over that real quick i'm like oh mm -hmm. yeah but i will say and i i had talked about this a lot because it you were the only person that shook my hand oh yeah and that stood out to me it, i mean and it like we i remember joking about it when, when we finally left yeah like i mean it was a decent handshake but the uh <laughs> like some of that stuff I, I was i was trying to tell you guys was was like looking into the future knowing that you're going to be you know people are going to be looking up to you guys like like people are going to relate to you and like Dad, he's right. my favorite or she's my favorite right and, uh, what you say like words do matter but it's also like what i liked about you guys is you were yourselves the whole way through 
mm-hmm. even knowing that words matter and but you know some of those first impressions like there was a lot of swearing I, like there's little kids watching this show because they yeah. think that the benefit of it is outweighs like hey look see how they're talking you don't want to necessarily be like that all the time and it's it's this and that but the first impressions do do count and yours took you a, a long way in a, in a lot of our decision making process because oh, he's the only one who shook my hand Hell that, yeah. <laughs> you stood out the most that day in, in a in a positive light but then it was like oh my gosh i mean if i i remember getting pretty frustrated not frustrated but just, like just going like oh my goodness like get get your essentials turn into yeah i could not believe how long that was and I, it, I was, like, it was so long years <laughs> yeah man i don't even think the show captures like how we were there for a while we were there I, for a while a surprising amount of time yeah and then i, I like it and it's it's not like i'm not trying to make you guys like me but then i'm mm-hmm. trying to remember when i was your age i'm like what am i doing and I, I was like i was a i was a teen i remember saying that i think to you i'm like i, I asked you how old you were and you told me and I was like, when I was your age, I was a team leader on SEAL Team 2. <laughs> Just the, the contrast. Yeah, but, but like, that was, it's so funny that that's like the opening part of the show because mm-hmm. that was what was holding a lot of you guys back was, was like the, like we have a saying in my old world, like the, the mm-hmm. wrong decision is better than no decision. And it's more for, I mean, it applies to a lot of things, but uh, especially like in in that world, like combat and stuff, it freezing is the worst thing you can do. And it's the same in your everyday life because when you freeze, you don't grow. Right. Right. And so so like, you can't be scared to make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. It's whether you you learn from them and grow or you you let it just stop you in your tracks. Uh, but like th- something as simple as like, all right, make some decisions on your own. Is like, yeah, everybody had a difficult time because they didn't know what they were going into, right? Mm-hmm. There's there's some really smart people. Um, trying to think, I, I, it might even be Colin Powell. Not to, and I ain't trying to go down that road. But there, <laughs> there's 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 a lot of smart people, and I remember reading something he said where it was like. I only need 45% of the 45 to 75% of the, the information to make a decision kind of in that same arena, like, Hey, right, right. Go and, and commit to it. But yeah, I, I, my initial impressions of that, I was like, Whoa, this is going to be even crazier than I thought. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, cause you're, you're also with the, with the company, you're working with people who actively want to learn survival skills. Right. So I feel like the contrast in want must have been pretty crazy too because i don't know if any of us wanted to learn anything yeah. initially you, uh, once you open your minds to it you guys will yeah. start to crave it but uh and it it I, i'm telling you if there's people out there listening like i could never do that you, you might just surprise yourself and there's yeah. so much more than even what we did it's like you can learn this stuff your whole life right and never really master it all but mm-hmm. it connects you with nature and it it, it 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 gives you a reason to disconnect from this digital world. Mm-hmm. It it does a lot of good for you. Yeah. Like I mean, somebody like 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 Devin, right? Vegan. Mm-hmm. Um part of the reason she is, um, I is like she cares about the planet, right? So mm-hmm. like there, there's always ways to find common ground. Like right, right. Well, what 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 got you interested in even starting a survival company like is it that like was it during i'm just speculating was it maybe during your time in the military that like obviously survival is a major aspect of it, it like what what made you decide to begin to teach others i uh, i mean i've always been passionate about it but i mm-hmm. i realized and it, and it's not like like I'm I'm in a house I'm it, it, like I'm not always out in the field right yeah of course I, if I didn't have like a, you know a modern family I I might be like that I don't know I I do prefer that Re- real uh-huh. I did see that you slept in a field for five months is that true yeah five yeah, months I, in a field really well not like in uh, like I was in the woods right 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 but in a field but yeah it was that that's where I met Matt okay okay. Oh, I know that. Yeah, I was, you guys- I was out there for 
Oh, I, and I loved it. I was really good yeah. at it. At, at that point in my life, I had like EOD was no longer an option. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I was living my dream. That, we used to say that all the time. Hey, man, how you doing today? Like, just living the dream, whether it was good or bad. Right. And I, I mean, I still feel like that every day. Like, uh, like just make it happen. Yeah. And then when, when I was in Afghanistan, mm-hmm. um, the people were just so self sufficient. And this, and and the average American would probably look at that and go like, I couldn't live like that. But they, right. like, for what they lacked, they had other stuff that we don't have. Like they they had that you know that family connection. They they spent a lot of quality time together. Mm-hmm. That their work ethic was next level. Really? And that that there's I'm trying to think of the the right words to say. There's it can be detrimental to a society that that no longer values taking care of their basic needs. That that is what really drives me, and I I seen the power of not losing the value of that in, in Afghanistan. Like these people can build their own houses, they grow their own food, um, and they're tough enough to do so. Mm-hmm. So it 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 makes you, it gives you. Even if you're not living it day to day, but you know that you're capable of it, it gives you the freedom to to not have to just go with the flow with with whatever authority says. It, it makes you harder to control, right? right? Which I, I think is a, a good thing. I actually mm-hmm. I saw a funny comment on something today, like with the whole like ah, oh, you're you're pushing military jargon, and that, that's how cool. <laughs> And terrorists get started, and it's like, oh, what? If, if you actually think about what we were doing, it, uh-huh. like the whole, like we were having your best interests in mind, and it's it's a very common thing, especially for Gen Z. They want to know the reason why, uh, like everything. But by then, we had built trust with each other, and it's like sometimes mm-hmm. we might tell you something where you're in your own head because we you didn't know we were about to do something dangerous, mm-hmm. right? and. That's kind of what I'm getting at it. Like, it, there's a duality to that. You can't always, you know, just blindly trust authority. But if 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 you know it's somebody that's that's got your best interest in mind, it's a good thing. But I mean, I, I even for uh, aside from that, that's what got me into it. I, I there was a, a very simple beauty that I saw <clears throat> out there in Afghanistan. And it just made me want to know more about it. Right. Like, right. I feel like a lot of people here would just like, they would <laughs> think they were not capable of it and give up. But like the, the people who founded this country, whether, you know, it, I mean, there, there's tons of stuff to not agree with, but there's a lot of cool stuff too. And right. they were tough people. And oh yeah, human beings are tough. Mm-hmm. You know, we're capable of so much more than we think, and that's kind of what drove me down that road. And I thought I knew a, a lot about it just from what I was yeah. exposed to in the communities that I was in, mm-hmm. and that was just like tip of the iceberg stuff. Really, wow. more to this, but it's it's good for your mind. It's good for your body. It, yeah, it, it makes you care about things you wouldn't normally even give a second thought. Even mm-hmm. just like a walk in the city, there's plants. Like na- you can't escape nature. Yeah. Even if you think it's not there, it's there. And then once once you become aware of it, you start seeing it everywhere. There's there's you wouldn't believe how many wild edibles I see just like going downtown and and wa- there, there's actually even more variety than like in the middle of the woods. Really. Like, like where there where there's a human footprint, there's more variety. It's just the way it is. But it's it's fascinating. So if if you're somebody listening. And, and saying like, oh, well, I can't do it. There's, there's plenty of cool stuff where you don't have to be, you know, building a shelter or, or super good at making fires where like you can connect with mother nature and, and kind of get off your phone and, and, and think. There's very little barrier to entry, right? Yeah. With nature. yeah. It's all around us. Yeah. Just walk outside. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. Well, here, here, here's a, here's a little spicy question. So you versus Matt, you both get dropped off middle of, let's just say the Amazon. 
who's surviving longer who's whose skills are more <laughs> up to par and I'll, I'll ask him the same so you know he'll get a chance oh, to I, rebut <laughs> uh let me see what would matt say i already know what matt would say that's a tough one because matt matt's been hitting the gym i saw i saw i've seen that actually i was gonna comment it but i was like i don't i don't, I don't know that might, <laughs> might come across a little weird <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't like the swamp and the jungle as much as I do. I don't know. Mm. We would both do pretty well, I would imagine. But he, he's got a, a bigger gas tank than me, shall we say? <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a very high metabolism. Right, right. So you got to, you got to keep be, eating. I, in a perfect world, we would join to join together and join forces and just live out there forever. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, let's say let's say you guys do join together uh kind of a cliche question but you, you're actually an expert in it what, what what three things would you bring you get three things you can bring to the amazon yeah yeah to the amazon i, I don't know <laughs> well see, that... it's a heavy question right because you have so much you have so you have so much yeah you have so much knowledge on it i feel like there's so many different things you could yeah but there there's i mean it, it's a pretty standard answer but if you're only getting three i i mean i would I would have some kind of small cutting tool. Okay. And I would have something like a machete because we're in the, the like a bigger chopping tool. Mm-hmm. And I would have like a ferro rod, like an easy way to make fire. And we'd okay. be, we'd be doing pretty good. All right. All right. Kind of like naked and afraid, I guess. You see what they pick. There's a reason. Yeah. They- yeah. Well, I've seen people, I feel like I saw someone brought a pen once or something. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, man. Yeah. But then, yeah, there. Do you want to know more about why I picked that? Hell yeah, one hundred percent. So, like, what, when you're looking at those kind of landscapes, it's like it, it would be very nice to have like a, a easy to make shelter, right? But mm-hmm. there, there's so many different palms and leaves. It's like, all right, a, a covering is kind of not necessary. It rains so much, and it's it's pretty easy to make like containers and things. But there's this concept. I I believe it was uh, Dave. Oh, you know who's calling me right now? Who, who, who? Greg. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Put her on. Okay, hold on. Hey, I'm doing. I'm doing a podcast with Sunny. Hey, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear. Her. I can't hear. Her. You say like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, yeah, I'll call you back. Bye, Bye. Ray. <laughs> <laughs> I love so, Ray. Um, but th- th- this is good, like basic knowledge, right? And it's kind of fascinating because it's the same thing. Like there's this guy named Otzi the Iceman. He was he was like found in the Swiss Alps. Whole books written on this dude, but he was he was like preserved very well. Like he's got tattoos where where he had like Lyme disease and stuff. Fascinating. But he had like an easy way to make fire. He had like like all this stuff that we call an an everyday carry kit, right? Okay. And it's it's not so much what it actually is, it's what it can do. Right. And uh Dave Canterbury from, um, he, he was on like uh, Discovery Channel and he's got mm-hmm. a great, um, he calls it the five C's and it's just a really smart way to remember it. And then he's taking it deeper. There's like 10 C's and stuff, but you want to have the ability to cut. So cutting tools, but that, that could be a saw, a knife, an ax, or maybe it's all three, depending on, on where you're going. Um, cordage, like really speeds things up you can make it naturally but it's time consuming and that's a whole another area in itself uh you you got uh combustion like an an easy way to make fire like i think uh otzi had like tinder fungus where he can catch a little low-grade spark and and have an easy fire like but nowadays for us it's we call them barrel rods Mm -hmm. a heck of a lot easier than making a bow drill (laughs) coal right right and then a container uh, we use like a simple metal container where you know we can boil water in it and, and carry stuff right and then a cover so we got cordage cutting tools combustion a cover and container the cover meat like 
It might be a poncho or a tarp, some kind of roof we can put over our head because depending on where you are in the world, it's hard to make a, a waterproof layer. Right. Very possible, but it, it, it takes a lot more work than, than people are willing to do. And when time is of the essence, it's like mm -hmm. a, a lifesaver to have something like that. Right. Man. But, so then you, you go down to three, believe it or not, uh, Bushcraft build off. We were allowed one hand tool a piece. And okay. on our episode, we were, we were actually like the first episode of film, I believe. And, uh, we broke a shovel. And it was like a shovel that my brother brought. Oh, I had no. a bunch of other shovels, but it was like, yeah, that's out of the game. So I we literally built something that we we slept in it. We slept yeah. in it multiple nights with no sleeping bags, nothing. The first night it was like 40 degrees and and raining. And then the other night it was like 30 something degrees. We had a bomb like fireplace in there. And it it, it I built it with. I mean, you can see it in the show. This th literally those same two tools that were on my hip. Uh huh. What? That's what the three of us used to build it. It, it was a little saw and a, a little knife. And you built an entire fireplace? A fireplace, a roof. We had three beds in That's there. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. That would have been a hell of a challenge. On <laughs> all, with the, all with those two tools? Yeah. Because our shovel broke. We we had to dig into the ground and we were using like digging sticks and we found like cow bones and like all this stuff. We were making like adzes. I should put some of that stuff up. That's so cool, man. Yeah, I would love to see clips from that, man. That's intense. That's intense. Yeah, but yeah, like where there's a will, there's a way. That's that, right. that's what's cool about learning this stuff is that, like, you know how one of the lessons was uh, you can do more with less. You, be very surprised what you can do with like absolutely nothing and then some stuff you just get used to right like you right probably a lot you were uncomfortable with that you got used to it mm -hmm. well yeah towards the end of it i mean it didn't make the show but i mean i was gutting fish i mean you probably recall you know you're killing the fish yeah. like you get, i got comfortable i feel like pretty faster than you would have i would have thought going from cool. like a hotel to outside i wouldn't think i'd be killing anything you all did fast. without even realizing it yeah you know? and it just gains momentum yeah you yeah know? but then and like some of that stuff goes away too like <laughs> i remember i was in this uh wiki up that me and my brother had built and it was like his first night there this is when i was out in the field for months he, okay. he came when that, that's actually when i met matt right uh, and matt and my brother were like the star students of, of those group of guys coming in and me and my brother had built a, a wiki up and this place had like tarantulas like like they had these centipedes that with these bright yellow legs that were like gigantic dude no <laughs> and day one i mean yeah, nobody likes that crap right yeah yeah. I had been out there a while and like you, your senses get heightened. Like you, you feel like you can hear better. You can see mm -hmm. better. I have a lot of friends that have done alone and, and they, they say the same thing. Right. And then like helping with naked and afraid, same thing. Like after about 10 days, like you, your, your senses get like heightened. And That's crazy. It, it is crazy, <laughs> but then you get more comfortable with stuff. Like, right. Uh, that's two things I always talk about, like, because it's, it's common, you know, like, oh, I don't like bugs. And mm -hmm. You you do get used to them. Right. Um, it's not like you want to be like rolling around in them. But uh, that that particular night, I remember like we finally finished. It took us like two days to build this thing. Yeah. And it was cold. It was like during the winter. So we had like a little fire in between us. And my, my brother was like sleeping off to my right. And I feel something on my face and I can see it like flickering in the firelight and it's a gigantic spider like on my chest Man. when I notice what it is. And I had been out there for months. So I grabbed the spider and I throw it on my brother. And I, <laughs> Wake up. There's a spider on you. And I, I thought it, he almost like blew out one of the walls. <laughs> Dude, that's hilarious. But by the time he left, he was just, 
the same way. And then right. it, like we, we live our modern lives and you, you go kind of back into that, but they, it, like you cruise back into it. It's the same thing with like eating weird stuff. Mm -hmm. That problem usually works itself out because you think you've been hungry before until you haven't eaten in like nine days. That, that is you'll, actually, you'll, you'll eat anything. That's that's something I was gonna ask you, man. What 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 is the weirdest thing you've ever ate? Weirdest, like maybe not weird for you, but like if some if you told someone they you know jaw drop moment. I uh, so it's it's not even that weird, but I remember when I was eating it, I was like, I never thought I'd be eating this, and I, I was so hungry that I was like, this is delicious, and it, a skunk. Okay, I can see that. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've had like armadillos and I, I, anything I can get my, I, I'll try it, you know. Yeah. But I remember going like a skunk. I'm eating, I'm, I'm eating a skunk right now, and I was actually like surprised that I don't know if I was just really hungry. Mm -hmm. It was not that bad, and it was like really, <laughs> the, like the the fat had that that skunkiness smell to it, and my knife smelled like skunk for like two months. Really. That's hilarious. Would you eat it again? See, like I, in my modern life right now, I'd be like, I'd have to be pretty hard up to, uh -huh, uh -huh. to eat that. But uh, yeah, I, I would. I, I'm sure there's somebody out there who knows how to cook it a heck of a lot better than me. Right, too. right, yeah. You know, but uh, I was I was very grateful for that meal. And then I, I had another one after that where I got to share it with some of my buddies out there. And they, they said the same thing. Like, wow, surprisingly good. And and one thing when you're living like that, mm -hmm. uh, you, you kind of get obsessed with uh, is fat. You you crave fat. You crave fat and sugar. And it's, it's funny okay. how like our modern diet is like, that's all it is. It's the best of the best. Yeah. Out yeah. There, you get some sugar and you're like all of a sudden you can think clearly and your brain just naturally knows it wants maximum calories. So it, it wants fatty meat mm -hmm. over, you know, rabbits and squirrels, like really lean meat where you, if that's all you ate, you would eventually starve. Right. But yeah, it's, it's crazy. I, I've even, I, I've had classes where we've done like serious stuff where like some real, like, like hardcore vegans. Yeah. And it always, it, it becomes like a, a topic of discussion. Like, Oh man, I can't wait till I can eat, like eat what I like to eat again. And like everybody starts fantasizing about food. Right. And like for me, when I'm super thirsty, my brain just goes, oh, you want a nice cold beer, don't you? That's like, I, I, I'll see it creeping in like, oh, maybe I should drink more water because I'm starting to fantasize about beer. Yeah, yeah. And then I've even had vegans where they didn't go through with it because they were really committed to, uh, you know, well, their, their choice. But right, now right. They're, they're like, I like if I could right now, I'd drive McDonald's like a, a double cheeseburger is like the most common thing I hear. But That's it's, it's funny. the brain wants fat right wants right calories. like it overrides like any ideological yeah yeah that's actually so interesting but so i and i do want to talk about this a little bit uh mm -hmm. yeah i don't feel like we made fun of you like i feel like we were very open-minded i'm not doing that but i've had a lot of hate in the past from from vegans and i i don't understand it uh because and you gotta hear me out on this um Plants are alive and animals are alive. Mm -hmm. I, I I hate wasting any food, and I'm very grateful for that. And I know that it 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 takes taking life to prolong life. Now, whether that's a plant or an animal, I don't think I'm wise enough to decide that. Uh, but that that's just my stance on it. And I could totally see the other side of the fence, and I see our side of the fence, and I mean. Uh, so some people might get the wrong idea that I'm like, ah, like making fun of vegans. No, nah, man, you do you, boo. I just, I like it all. I, I kind of value it all. Uh, so I don't, I don't take food lightly. Right, right, right. Yeah. Which I, mean, I, I feel like you guys might have kind of got some of that. Just that was what that stuff was about. It, it wasn't about you know messing with people or trying to do harm which like just getting people to think oh yeah yeah and i mean what what cat even said like about like the steer's been pushed out of its habitat it's 
you know it, it's what's the term there's like a term for that um conservation ethical, yeah 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 but yeah that, that all ties into it you, you well you like a lot of people don't have any friends that are are into that and nowadays it's like oh, taboo to even mention stuff like that it depends mm-hmm. on where you come from but it's like you like me i like like see there's like spear guns up here i got yeah. a bunch of bows right here i i love hunting mm-hmm. it, it 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 makes me feel like a part of the process like i'm really actually respecting that process instead of somebody doing the dirty work for me mm-hmm. in in the process of trying to get good at it you learn about the animals you start to it's the same thing as like somebody seeing you on the show and I'm like, you know what i like that sunny character <laughs> before they would have just saw you on the street like look at him. he's got half a mustache yeah. <laughs> you know that you, you you start having you start to care about these things yeah right? it's, it's like a respect and I, I know it sounds probably really strange to some people you're like how could you hunt something that you care about it's like you, you're trying to do it ethically and it's not like you're not being greedy about it and that you know a lot of times you're not taking anything mm-hmm. you're just enjoying the experience but that's you know it's like goes back to the beginning like how how can we find any common ground if we're just going to draw a line in the sand or like that? right you are wrong and i'm not going to listen to you mm-hmm. it gets us nowhere yeah well Joel, just two more things one do you guys offer like a survival light course like you know like let's say we want like more of a snowflake mountain experience do you guys offer that or is it a little bit more hardcore i mean we <laughs> we, we generally do more hardcore stuff but uh-huh. I mean, we want to we welcome anybody um, yeah because i'm thinking a reunion you know i don't know if everyone's going to be down to to be in the field for 40 days <laughs> they don't have to be 40 days there's a lot yeah. that, especially from there's a lot we could build on from what you guys already did. For yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, uh, I would love yeah. I would yeah, I mean, Matt and I, that's, that's what we've, we've done full time for yeah. a while now. And, uh, we got stuff in the works. Yeah. Try to welcome, you know, snowflake fans. That, right. That right. I want something that, like so hardcore, but like I said, it, it, like any exposure to it, I, I think makes somebody, a better person like mm-hmm. whether it's wh- whatever they're seeking like uh it just gives you perspective and so i would hate to be like ah no we're too hardcore for you. right right, <laughs> yeah, right. Not, you know, like we do plenty of, of what i would call like gentleman courses where okay you know, you're staying in a nice place and it's it's not about that it's, it's just about getting familiar with techniques and right and stuff but um we'll see we'll I'll keep you updated. All right, on that. all right, man. Because I'd be, I, I, I'd be up for it as, as long as yeah. we're not. Uh, I mean, no, I'll be up for it. I'm not gonna say as long as we're not. I'm, I, I would still be up for it. Strap some GoPros on everyone, you know. I was like, Wait, as long as we're not what? What were you gonna say? Nah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm down for anything. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm down for anything. I'll, I'll say that. I, I, I was thinking about your building with the two tools. I was, I was thinking. I don't know if I could do that, but you know what? Maybe, maybe I could. Or I know I can. I could do it. I could do it. I could do it. You got to change, got to change the verbiage. I, I could definitely do it for sure. Yeah. You can. All right, Joel. Last question. Last question. And if you can't answer it, just let me know. Um, two part. Do you believe in Bigfoot? Have you seen Bigfoot? You, you spend a lot of time outdoors, man. Oh, what's that look in your eyes? It might be a military secret. <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> uh. Do I believe in Bigfoot? Bigfoot, Sasquatch, the abominable snowman. I mean, here, I'll put it this way. It's it's 2022, and we're still finding out stuff that we thought we knew everything about. Like who it could be real. I've never seen them. Uh I've I've met people that have been like totally convinced that you know it's real. And I'm like, eh. I don't know. I don't know how to answer that question. Why have you have you seen them? I haven't, but I was just thinking you've been outside quite a. You've been outside longer than most. <laughs> if anyone was going to see me. Down here they call them skunk eight. Okay, yeah, in Florida, right? Yeah. <laughs> I have a an old teammate that I remember this story. Like he'd get all serious and crazy eyed, mm-hmm. telling it. Uh, 
I think it, yeah, it like came for his sister. He never saw it, but he could smell it. And it like <laughs> came for his sister. Yeah, as a buddy of mine from like Alabama. Yeah, He's, yeah. <laughs> but hey, you know, if but here's here's what I will say: perception okay. is reality. So that's true. Yeah, someone <laughs> else is. Yeah, someone else may have experienced Bigfoot. You're right. Whether it was there or not, actually, yeah. All right, good stuff, man. Mic drop. <laughs> that was great man that's it for, i think that's a perfect note to end on um joel thanks for coming on thanks for kind of guiding me through this uh you know i appreciate all you've done for me i want i definitely want to get you back on man there's so much to talk about yeah, with like hey, survival you're only, and... you're only gonna get better at it and, and yeah. just, just keep doing it uh i, I will say this mm -hmm. that it, it's really important especially while you have people's attention we get so much input and i've been getting all these like questions and and responses about like I'm, i have like major anxiety what can i do mm -hmm. and we, i i hate to be a part of that but like we're literally doing it right now we're putting out information so like uh, like just stay positive man and 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 be be yourself and be authentic and have the goal to like provide value for somebody even if it's one person it's it's worth it instead of just adding to the noise you know mm -hmm. uh, but I, like it, like the stuff i've seen you do it's it's hilarious it's entertaining and it puts a smile on people's face and 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 you guys are all the like being role models like you're still you're and and it, i'm i'm very happy that you're like i was having trouble and and then he lit a fire on me like that's real dude you know yeah yeah that yeah but like shine your light bro thanks man that's good and my name's sunny so yeah <laughs> that's good man <laughs> thanks Joel. You, you, have any, you have any final message for people listening or or i mean you said quite a bit i think there's a lot of gems already in this conversation so yeah one know. more one more watch the yeah. Blake mountain yeah watch the Blake mountain <laughs> yeah. all, all right. right appreciate have you man a good one, sunny. you too man thanks